Hi, and welcome to Paper Root Scrapbooking. I'm Nadine, and today I'm sharing with you a quick tip on how to find your purchased cartridges in Cricut Design Space. Okay, so Cricut Design Space is so wonderful because we can just jump on here and like search whatever image we wanna make, right? However, if you've been scrapbooking for a long time like I have, and you used your Cricut um, in the days before Design Space when we just had cartridges, you might remember some of your images that you wanna use based on which cartridge they came from. And so um, if you are like me and you'd like to look through your cartridges that way, this video is for you. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open new project to get to our images. And so here we're gonna click on images and over here on this side, okay, so all of these things are very helpful, but on this is the one we want, highlighted categories. We're gonna click image sets and then we're gonna click ownership and we're gonna check this box of purchased. So this is gonna show us only the cartridges or collections that you have purchased from Cricut, okay? So for example, it's not just um, the ones I purchased uh, digitally, it's the ones that I've linked to my machine, right? So you plug it in and you link your cartridges. So there are other videos online that do a great job of showing you how to plug in the cartridge and link your design space. I don't have quite the setup to show my Cricut and my screen, so I'll leave that up to somebody else. But I wanted to show you that you can go on here, click images, image sets, ownership, purchase. It shows you which, um, collect, which uh, cartridges that you have linked. So for example, Sesame Street, right? Sesame Street Friends. If I'm specifically looking for Cookie Monster, I might not want to sift through all of the things that pop up when I type in Cookie Monster because it's going to show me all the cookies and all the monsters. But I know that on my Sesame Street cartridge, I have Cookie Monster. So if I can go here and search in through my um, image sets or my uh, linked cartridges, this is going to show, and then I click on that, I can shop through all of these, right? So there's Cookie Monster standing up. Uh, here's another image of Cookie Monster eating some cookies. And then I can also find maybe um, something to go with Cookie Monster, like this cookie jar here. And maybe just maybe I just want a cookie shape that goes with Cookie Monster. It's all here. Here's just Cookie Monster. He's running. He's running left. He's running right. He's just being the good old Cookie Monster, right? Okay, so that is um, my quick tip today on how to shop, or not shop, but find your um, image sets or cartridges on your Cricut Design Space. So once you've linked them, yes, you can just search for the images that you have, right? But we can also go through here, image sets, ownership, purchased, okay? And then we can go, if we wanna go back to our image sets, we just click that back button. Sorry, I kinda of took you on a little tour there because I clicked the wrong thing, but it's all good. And um, another one is like, if you've purchased the Disney cartridges, that's sometimes a place that you really wanna specifically look, right? So let's see if I can find one of my Disney ones. There's also some that like, a lot of the ones that I already own are included in Access, I don't, have a Cricut Access membership anymore. I kind of let it lapse, but um, there's also a lot that I had purchased that are not, especially the D Disney and the, um, what do you call them? Uh, Sesame Street ones. So here's one of my Disney ones, Disney Classics, right? It's not included in Cricut Access. Nothing Disney would be, right? <laughs> So uh, if I know that one of my classic movies is Pinocchio and I want a little Jiminy Cricket, well, that's where I want to go. So I'm probably going to want to go through the cartridge instead of trying to find Jiminy Cricket. Here's my SpongeBob one, also very unique, right? So 
I also know that if I click on my SpongeBob one, there's going to be a lot of water themed or ocean themed um, images. So let's say I'm scrapbooking about a uh, trip to the beach. Soak it up. There's a title for the trip to the beach, right? And there's some fish, there's some waves, there's a treasure chest, there's some seaweed. I don't know if I put a pineapple, maybe, maybe pineapples are kind of beach themed. Message in a bottle, that's not specific to SpongeBob, but it's definitely water themed. Here's a lifesaver, here's a best day ever, more fish, more seaweed, sink or swim. The titles are also great, right? So, um, yeah, just a little tip there on how to get to your images from your design space. So um, that's it for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please click that like button to give me a thumbs up. Hit the show more button under the video description if you'd like to find links to some of the things that we talked about today. And um, if you have a question or comment, just leave it down below and I will get back to you just as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more of my videos, it would make my day to have you as a subscriber. Just click that subscribe button and be sure to hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when a new video goes up. Have a great day, everyone. Bye for now.